the inquiry has revealed so far a lot of uh, troubling answers that we were looking for, especially on the part of the police investigating the police. We see, we can see that there was a lot of, uh, not miscommunication, but the way that the SQ conducted the investigation regarding the SPVM, we can see that there was a lot of uh, favors that were done regarding the SPVM. Uh, they put uh, the two uh, agents, the two police officers that were involved in the incidents, they put them together already. So they did not separate them as the mandate is supposed to do. So we can see there was a lot of uh, faux pas, I guess I can say, and uh, that troubled me already. And also you can see that the version of uh, La Pointe and Pilot has a lot of differences and major differences. Uh, L'agent La Pointe said that he was fearing for his life. And uh, Stephanie Pilot, she said that she never feared for her life. And you, you have to understand that both of them are standing right beside each other. And most of the time, we have the uh, we have the conception that a police officer has to be built strong, has to be a big guy. And in that case, La Pointe, the guy that shot, was a big guy, very muscular. And Pilot was very tiny, very uh, minuscule, as we can say in French. And she was not scared and he was fearing for his life so you can see there's a different approach and also there was a lot of miscommunication from the police part uh, especially at Agent Lapointe. We wanted a different kind of an investigation or inquest that has more power to it that it can bring some recommendation that it can make some resolution and hopefully that's going to do that uh, with the, the coroner Perrault's inquest but I'm afraid it's not going to be the case so I can't wait to see how it's going to end up but uh, I'll wait for the result before I say anything because uh, it's not the inquest that we wanted to have, but it's still an inquest that revealed a lot of things. I think the population was shocked with uh, lots of things that they heard regarding that uh, inquest. And hopefully uh, the coroner Perrault is going to have, uh, as we say, I'm sorry for the word, but it's going to have the balls to take some action to make sure that this doesn't happen anymore and that we don't have police investigating the police and that the action of the police officer, if he finds so, was uh, wrong. And what can be done to prevent that? There's been many cases in the past. Uh, if we take a look at uh, Mohamed Anas Benis, we take a look at the Villanueva, everything that was revealed during the inquest, uh, just the way that there's a preferred treatment for the police officers. And uh, how many times they've been conducting this investigation and there was never any charges laid. Uh, you just have to imagine uh, Le Collège des Médecins. When a doctor commits a fault, there's an investigation. And most of the time, they do some adjustment, but there's also some penalties that will be inflicted to the person that has committed the crime. And with the police force, police force, you always feel that that's, that never takes place. And it makes you wonder why they want to show that the police force never commits any mistake, uh, that there's some people that can do criminal charges. Uh, I know uh, police officers, you have to understand that when a police officer has the responsibility of other citizens' life because they have a gun, well, if they take that gun and shoot somebody, well, they have to uh, respond. Uh, they, they have to respond for their their action, and we feel that uh, whenever there's a police officer involved in a shooting, they feel free to shoot at somebody because they know there's not going to be any consequences. Uh, when I take a look at, especially this case with Freddy Villanueva, uh, I was lucky enough to be a police officer, and I understand the processes. I understand the process, taught, the top process of the police officers, and what they have to go through, the different levels of in interventions that they have to be facing. So when I'm speaking, it's from something that I've been studying, the same thing that they've been studying. So I'm not speaking, uh, uh, like we say, uh, out of my head. I guess it's something that is uh, was within me also. So I guess it brings more. Uh, um, a more critical judgment regarding the, interven the intervention of a police officer most of the time because I've been doing the same job. Uh, we're going to submit a, an essay, uh, I don't know how to say that in English exactly, but we're going to submit a body of work uh, to tell them what can be done, what can we done uh, in conducting an investigation because there's other provinces that has been uh, investigating as a different uh, unit that investigate the police and I'm not saying that the system that they have right now in Ontario is good but there's other places in the world also that have other system that really works and that has shown that you need another body than the police to investigate the police because otherwise it's like me investigating my brother and of course if I'm investigating my brother well there's some things that I'm going to be more in favor of my brother.